Hello everyone and good afternoon. My name is Vivian Legg and I am an account manager for Ivy by House. Um, just to walk you through what Ivy is, it's a cloud-based software that um, deals with the that deals with the business management side of um, any design business. Um, so it allows you to source your items, um, track your time, and manage your projects more effectively and efficiently. Just before we get started, um, I'd like to tell you that this webinar is being recorded and it will be posted on YouTube afterwards. So now I'm just going to share my screen and walk you through the project tracker. Okay, we're going to go into my Swiss ski lodge. And this is my Swiss ski lodge project. Going into the project tracker is basically it's a bird's eye view of your entire project and it will show you your services and products and all the way through uh, their, their time and their processes. So first it's going to show you the item and the, the item details. So here it shows you the status of the item, whether it's been invoiced or whether it's still pending, what room it's in, and then it gives you the details and information. It also will show you all of the financial information pertaining to the product, so the unit costs, the markup value, and the total selling price. It'll also show you your accounting information, whether it's been invoiced, whether any proposals have been created yet, if you have a purchase order, and also all of your scheduling information. It also has a section for other details, which is great because it allows you to to create your own custom fields and in which case you'll be able to sort through the uh, sort through all of your items more effectively and efficiently. So this is a brief overview of the project tracker and it may seem to look a little daunting but it, there are multiple views. If you'd like to see it at a snapshot you can just click on this little eye here and it's going to allow you to edit any details within this product. So first, the first page will be the details. In this, you can edit the client title, the vendor, the website, the client description and the vendor description. And you can also change the room and this will automatically change in your room boards as well or add a room specifically from the project tracker. Next section will be your accounting information where you can change the selling quantity and the selling cost. And also you can have the purchase quantity and the purchase costs as well. You can also add in your shipping information. And then if you scroll down or you can click here as well, you can actually input your scheduling information. This is great because it allow, it syncs to your calendar and you'll be able to see what you have and when it's being delivered. So let's change this receiving date to the third have a delivery date the fourth, and then an installation date of the ninth. Once we've saved it here, we can go straight into our calendar and it'll show us here. This is the delivery date and this is the installation date. And if we scroll, to February, it's going to show us when it's being delivered and when it's being installed. So going back into the project tracker, going back into this item here, by clicking on the eye, the next step is also any additional information that we'd like to add. Now you can see there's finish and SK number. These are custom fields that I've personally added myself and you can also create your own. This is another way to add, 
Um, this is another way to create a filter to allow you to sort through your products. So let's save this here and I'll show you how to enter your custom fields. If we go into the top right hand side, you should see either a VL or an image of yourself. Then we go into my account. And then we go into the settings section. Below it's going to show us custom field settings. With the custom field settings, if we would like to add a custom field, we just click on this little blue button here, type in the name, I'm going to say product code. As some designers actually have a code for a specific product, um, if they have multiple uh, products of the same type, they can change the code a little bit and this will allow them to sort through these items. So let's save this. And going back into our projects and back into Swiss Ski Lodge, going into the project tracker. If we click into an item and scroll down, we should see project product code right here. So here we can enter a value. So Save it. And that will allow us to sort through this further. So it may look quite daunting initially, but we can decide what we'd like to see. So right here it shows us it shows us a drop down but it shows us a drop down bar here. If we just click on it, I can say that I don't want to see the item details. I don't want to see the accounting details. I purely want to see the pricing and the scheduling. Then I can go further and say that I would only like to see products. And I only want to see anything that, sorry, I was just thinking, anything that has been approved or is in draft. So anything declined, I don't want to see. It's going to show me all of the information that I asked for. So it's gonna show me the item, the pricing and the schedule. And as you can see, the status of each item. So if I click here, it's gonna sort through them. It's either approved or draft and pending. We can also add products directly to the, product, the project tracker by clicking on this top right hand side button here, add products, select which product we'd like to add. So let's select them up again. Once we've added this, this item again, we can click on the little I And we can actually select which room this is going to go into as well. And this will automatically update the room board section. So I'm going to send this into the master bedroom. If I'd like, I can also create another room from the project tracker and just save it here. Kitchen, save. and then click on save. If I would like to select items that I would like to create a document from, I would just click on this here, click on the three little dots, and I can either create an ff &E schedule or download an Excel file or create a spec sheet. So right now, let's create an FF&E schedule. 
I can select all of the information that I would like to see in this FFN schedule. So let's say I don't want to see the details. I only want to see the pricing and all the other details. And then I can click download as PDF. And those 14 items that I've selected. Are ready to download here. And this is the document. If I would like to go even further, I can click on this little search button here. And I can say that I only want to see a specific status. So I only want to see draft. And then it's only going to show me draft items. And the number of items has decreased. So that's a brief overview of the project tracker. And I'm going to go back and see if there are any questions that need answering. Okay. okay. So the first question was answered. Um, oh, apologies about the blurriness of the screen. Um, I hope you were able to see everything. If not, you can just contact, I'll add the email to contact below. And if you have any questions, I'll be able to answer them for you. Um, so we're going to end this, we're going to end this webinar here. Um, it was a pleasure speaking to all of you and I hope you got something out of it. Um, we're just going to wait a little longer and see if there are any other questions. Okay, so far there's nothing left, but if you have any questions, I'll add the support email here and you'll be able to contact us. Thank you very much. Have a lovely day.